I'm here to tell you a story about integration of uh, Magnolia with uh, Ibris. It's uh, something uh, I will not tell you all the technical details uh, about uh, these things we did, but I would like to share with you uh, what it can be done, uh, why, uh, why we think that uh, this solution is a really great uh, solution. We did uh, this thing for a project in Open Mind. I'm from Open Mind, from Italy. My name is uh, Fabrizio. You probably already heard about Open Mind. We are uh, working with Magnolia since its early days. Uh, we are the first partner and we build a lot of uh, community modules. We like to build a great project. Uh, we did a lot of uh, integrations with Magnolia, with mainly everything. And we had the occasion to try uh, putting Magnolia together with uh, Ibris. I don't know if you already know what uh, Ibris is. Uh, maybe yes, if you are here. Uh, I guess you already know what Magnolia is, so I won't tell you uh, why <laughs> you should use Magnolia and all uh, its features. But uh, about Ibris, Ibris is, uh, well, the description is uh, how Ibris uh, describes itself, uh, it's pretty long. Anyway, it's an uh, e-commerce platform. It's uh, a very rich e-commerce platform. It's uh, a product that is uh, growing a lot in the last year. We heard about Ibris a lot uh, for customer who, who does uh, e-commerce, actually. Uh, so we will talk about uh, e-commerce the last definition uh, as well. Uh, E-commerce uh, is uh, today not only really, uh, selling something online, it's not uh, enough to, to sell something. So if you build an e-commerce website, uh, you have to do a lot of things. You have uh, to keep the, uh, the connection with your customer, you have to interact uh, to rapidly evolve. Uh, that's a, a scenario where you need to do lots of things, not only really having a something uh, that allow you to sell things online. That was what I was saying. E-commerce is a lot more than having uh, something that uh, let you sell things online. It's not only an engine. I mean, uh, you really need uh, a powerful engine. If you want to sell stuff online, you need to handle your catalog, your prices, uh, uh, your promotions, uh, something that uh, really need uh, specialized uh, products, uh, but you have uh, also more. You have the, the window, so you have to communicate your products. Uh, you have uh, a, a website that you have to maintain, you have uh, mobile, you have uh, all the communication with uh, your customer. So that's something that uh, Magnolia also, we know, uh, allows you to, to do. Okay, going back to e-commerce, why we think it's a uh, uh, really interesting uh, market uh, things. Uh, uh, these are figures from uh, Forrester uh, forecast uh, saying the, the size of the e-commerce uh, market in the, in the US. Uh, we can see that it's very rich already now. Uh, Five sign uh, in 2012 or something like uh, uh, 200 billion dollars. It will grow, uh, say, probably to 15%, so nearly 300 billion dollars in two years. But uh, we are still uh, to at the 15%, 15% of the total sales. Uh, so uh, only a, a small part of our sales uh, is uh, now online uh, commerce. That means that uh, we want uh, uh, see the, the growth uh, slowing down for years. So that's something that uh, is uh, going to grow again and again in the next uh, few years. Ibis uh, is uh, a good player in this market. Uh, this is the magic quadrant from Garner, the usual things that a customer looks at when uh, they have to choose uh, uh, a platform. Uh, Ibris is now located as uh, one of the best players together with Oracle, together with uh, IBM. 
uh, but uh, is also the youngest uh, product between uh, those. It's uh, evolving uh, very, very fast. It's a very great uh, product. Iris is also widely deployed. It's uh, well, well, um, a lot uh, used in uh, Germany and uh, Europe, uh, also in the US, uh, and it's growing uh, very, very fast. It has a large customers, so I, I think that uh, we can have uh, many matches with uh, the, the kind of companies that uh, will use uh, Magnolia for the website. We will focus on the one of them, Pirelli, which is uh, the client for which we did uh, this implement in, uh, integration. It's uh, uh, something that uh, is now live, uh, a full uh, site working with uh, Iris and Magnolia. is not uh, an experiment, uh, but uh, it has been a successful uh, story. Uh, I also realized uh, a couple of hours ago that uh, there is also another name, uh, Migros, which uh, looks uh, uh, crossing uh, for both products, so maybe someone is interested uh, in this. Ibis is uh, a full platform. Uh, it's very big. It's a very, very big uh, product. It has uh, whatever you need for uh, managing your e-commerce website. So uh, campaign management, uh, uh, catalog, whatever. It also has uh, content. From what you see, that they also say they have a content uh, management uh, inside Ibris. So, uh, why thinking about uh, integrating uh, Magnolia, uh, since uh, Ibris also has a CMS model? Well, uh, when we started working with it, we, we said that, uh, yeah, it, it has a CMS model, but is a CMS uh, module which is uh, uh, just more like an add-on of the e-commerce part. Uh, you can also think about uh, building uh, your e-commerce website, uh, building some custom stuff on, uh, on Magnolia. So you have the same great CMS part and uh, maybe a, a smaller uh, e-commerce uh, features. But uh, probably is better to try to choose uh, the best thing uh, and put together uh, the best feature from uh, both worlds. So uh, this is uh, the main topic we want uh, to uh, tell you why, uh, why we realized, why also our client realized uh, that uh, it was uh, a great solution to integrate uh, Magnolia into Iris, even if Iris uh, uh, also has uh, is, uh, our small content management system. Uh, something I didn't say before is that uh, also Adobe is doing a similar thing since uh, Ibis is uh, the core product for the e-commerce uh, solution uh, by Adobe, which uh, integrates uh, Ibis with CQ5, uh, which is a product maybe you know from the former day. Uh, so they did a partnership this year and uh, they are uh, uh, pushing uh, CQ5 to be together with Ibis with, uh, for e-commerce. Uh, we realized that uh, we can have a good alternative and Magnolia can be integrated really, really well with uh, Ibis. So the first reason why integrating Magnolia with uh, Ibis, well, you know Magnolia is uh, easy. We started working with uh, uh, a client which already had Magnolia for their website. They migrated uh, all their website on Magnolia in the years. They have lots of people working on, uh, on Magnolia. They like it. They like it because it's simple. They can use it. It's, uh, it's very useful and easy for, for them. Uh, when they saw iBoys, uh, they, they enjoyed the, uh, it uh, very much for features, uh, but uh, since they already know Magnolia, they realized it, it was uh, not, not easy for them. It's, uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you start uh, working with the iBoys content management uh, and you never seen, uh, you've never seen Magnolia, maybe you can uh, think, uh, well, it's, it's okay, it may work. But if you've seen uh, Magnolia before, you realize that, uh, no, you can't work with something that is not uh, as easy as Magnolia. 
it's, it's stupid. The other thing is, uh, okay, we have lots of uh, websites. We have uh, several different uh, websites. We mix uh, content between uh, websites. We have uh, trained people. Everybody works on Magnolia. Why we should have uh, a different CMS only because uh, also we have e-commerce in a website? That's something that, well, it's not uh, great. Uh, if you use uh, a certain CMS for managing content, it's not uh, good to change it because you need uh, uh, an additional feature or, or whatever. The other thing, uh, well, Magnolia is surely a lot more than uh, managing content and then what the, the feature that uh, Ibis gives you for managing content. Uh, I say that the, the CMS that came with uh, Ibis is uh, more something that is an add-on they realize they, they can't have uh, an e-commerce website where you can't uh, manage content, so they, they have to, de to do something. But Magnolia is uh, something really different. Magnolia is a content management system with uh, whatever features, modules, and so on. So you gain, you gain a lot of uh, things by using a great uh, CMS like this. And another thing is that uh, Okay, we, when we started, we realized that uh, maybe for our competence with Magnolia, but also with other experience, uh, that uh, you can build components with Magnolia, integrated with Ibis, uh, but uh, even faster than, uh, uh, than building uh, Ibis components alone. Uh, you know Magnolia is, uh, also helps uh, developers, it's not uh, to uh, too hard to implement, to add the new modules, uh, and uh, it's uh, something that uh, helps also speed up uh, development. Of course, this is not free. So when you think about integrating things, uh, you have to find a way how to put them together. Uh, it's not free. We worked a lot of, uh, on uh, integrating the two products. Uh, you surely uh, need more time to build with Magnolia something which is deeply connected with some hybrid system. Uh, if you want to use uh, a standard uh, hybrid feature, you have to, to integrate them. So it's something that uh, at the beginning could take time. It's not free, it's not uh, something that can be done uh, out of the box. But it's something that uh, just uh, gives you a, a great product for the end. How we integrated? Uh, I will talk about also the, the project uh, later, so if uh, I can't show you much uh, about uh, that specific thing. Uh, the next thing is that when you start uh, thinking about uh, integrating a CMS, uh, usually also the customers start uh, uh, saying, okay, we can maybe choose uh, this page can be managed by the CMS, this other one is managed by the commerce systems. You try to take them separated. Another step is saying, okay, we can just try to merge them, but not too, not too much together. Let's keep them as two separate systems. Um, we saw experience of integrating uh, this with uh, remote calls, uh, so you edit content uh, on one side, uh, you have a uh, call from a uh, hybrid of other system that gets content, you totally lose uh, the usability, you don't know where your content uh, is going, uh, uh, not a good way to, to integrate. This is how we think we integrated Magnolia with hybrids. So uh, in a juicy way, <laughs> we just uh, mix them so that you can't uh, just uh, see what is uh, Ibis and what is Magnolia together, a uh, single system. Of course, uh, you will still do something on Magnolia and something on Ibis. For example, the management of the catalogs still is uh, based on uh, uh, the Ibis uh, product cockpit, which is an administration tool uh, specific for managing uh, the, the catalog. 
uh, when you edit content, you edit it in Magnolia, but that, that thing that you see is uh, an hybrid. So that's totally integrated, totally mixed, and uh, you, can't, uh, you can't say we are on a system or, uh, or another. Okay, just to two, two lines of, uh, I know most of you are technical people, so maybe uh, you want to know how Ibris is, uh, is realized, how the integration can work. Just uh, a, a, a few points uh, on the Ibris architecture. When we, we started working on it, we were uh, pretty impressed on the, on the code. Is, uh, it's a very nice product. It's a very well written also from a technical point of view. It's based on Java, of course, uh, and is based on uh, hybrids. Uh, the strange things uh, you get at the beginning is that it runs on a custom version of a Tomcat with custom class loaders, uh, hierarchical. So that's something that gives you trouble. <laughs> That's something that uh, surely gives uh, you trouble when you try to use uh, the modularization of uh, Arabis. Uh, it's based on Spring, so we use also Blossom in our uh, integration, but it's not something that can be easily done with uh, only Blossom. Uh, the Spring context is built in a custom way, with a custom scope, uh, so you have to work a lot to make uh, things work uh, together uh, smoothly. Uh, the same thing is also, when uh, we look at that, uh, it's uh, CMS, uh, we saw that uh, it was applied uh, through a filter in the web application, uh, there were some custom tags uh, uh, called uh, CMS, uh, call something, and we say, oh, it looks really like uh, Magnolia if you look at, uh, at the GSP, but it was not Magnolia. Uh, we did uh, a lot of things for to integrate uh, Magnolia with Ibris. Uh, I said we mainly use Blossom. We integrated services, uh, search uh, for uh, our project. We integrated also authentication, uh, single sign-on, uh, and very small, uh, small parts. This is the, the project I was uh, talking about uh, before. It's a project for Pirelli, tire producer, vendor. It's uh, an international B2B platform. It's B2B, so it's solely for, de for dealers. I'm sorry you can't see this website. I think you can just reach the login page, but uh, only if you sell styles. I don't know if uh, anybody uh, sells styles can uh, assess. Uh, you also need to have uh, uh, an hardware token. They are pretty jealous of uh, their content uh, and so on. Uh, I said, uh, the starting point, uh, point was that uh, Pirelli uh, already loved Magnolia. We implemented a lot of websites. The main uh, Pirelli.com website uh, is on Magnolia. They have something like uh, 40 uh, websites for all the countries, uh, everything on uh, Magnolia. Uh, other websites, uh, they, uh, they are community, they are everything is uh, going on uh, on Magnolia. So that's uh, what, uh, the, the something they already knew and loved. And then uh, they choose the hybrids. They already used the hybrids in the past. Uh, uh, they choose the hybrids for a new important uh, project, this one for the B2B. Uh, they had already an, an existing platform which was uh, very old, uh, based on Microsoft stuff. Uh, they had to rewrite uh, totally. And uh, they choose hybrids for the, for the reason I, I told you before. It's a very good product. It's, uh, so many features, so you, you, you can't really count them. So we, at some point, uh, we were there. The, the project was uh, started, because uh, the, the first thing, uh, you know, the, the first thing uh, uh, a client uh, decides is uh, the GoLive date. So we started with a GoLive date and we Fibris. Uh, it was a short uh, time frame, actually. Uh, they decided to use uh, Ibris. Uh, they started uh, working with Ibris. Uh, they didn't think uh, about uh, integrating Magnolia at the beginning. They just realizing uh, after starting the project with Ibris uh, 
that uh, oh uh, we need to change uh, these things uh, we need to measure this other in a different way and uh, it looked strange that you couldn't do that with Fabris. They, they were used to, to Magnolia, they were used to maximum flexibility. We build uh, websites that they can totally manage, that there is uh, nothing that they can change on their website. So they, they started thinking about uh, integrating uh, different CMS, uh, Magnolia, and uh, we started playing uh, with that. Uh, it's, uh, it was, uh, I said, a, a short uh, time frame. That there was not so too much uh, time uh, uh, to play. The live was in uh, January. I think we started in October, November. So it's uh, very short. Uh, there was a little time to do experiment. Uh, so the client was uh, really uh, and it, it was not sure to, to try it. Uh, uh, it had a lot of perplexity. We got uh, a lot of uh, uh, questions. Uh, uh, it was just scared of uh, whatever could happen, mixing two to products together. Uh, the things uh, we, we had to do is uh, doing that. We just uh, did a uh, proof of concept, uh, we built uh, something, uh, we gave it uh, to the client, uh, they just uh, saw them and say, whoa, that's great, okay. They decided to try to integrate that uh, only after seeing uh, that uh, it really looks uh, awesome. Uh, they were scared because there was no standard hybrid integration, there were no experience in the past. Uh, we did it. We did it from scratch, we did it in a very short time, and we showed them that it was uh, a great, great thing. At the end, the nice thing is that uh, we got the deadlines, and not only, we even uh, saved time integrating Magnolia. We spent uh, a lot of time at the beginning, of course, uh, trying to integrate the, the first bricks, uh, trying to make everything work smoothly, uh, everything uh, together. After that, uh, we could, uh, we, 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 saw we were able to build uh, some part of the system uh, using uh, Magnolia, other part using Ibris, uh, other using uh, mix a mix of two and uh, it works great it works great we we just uh, saved time so we added feature we added a great cms and we saved time at the end so flexible that uh, well i i I will not tell you the story why, but uh, for some reason, when they went live in January, someone uh, I don't know the what really happens, but uh, they realized, uh, oh, we are live with a new B2B website. Uh, but someone said, oh, no, I think we should have two websites, uh, and I want now the second one. Different branding, different navigation, uh, different authentication, uh, different set of customers, uh, different look and feel, same models. We got maybe the same features for uh, the e-commerce part. Uh, we don't have uh, some other section integrated. Uh, we had the new. We were able to build this uh, in two weeks' time, in 10 days, actually, from scratch. A new look and feel, uh, implementing it in Magnolia, using the same system to manage do two completely different uh, websites, uh, using modules. That's something that can't, uh, cannot be done so easily with Ibis. We, we are sure about that. Ibis is very flexible too. It shows how to build uh, different uh, front end on the same uh, engine and so on, but it's not so flexible to handle two really different websites, two navigation to allow you to edit them both. Okay, this is uh, the login page, which is uh, the only thing <laughs> you will uh, be able to see uh, on uh, this website. Uh, I will not talk uh, too much about uh, about this, just uh, a couple of screens to, to see that it's something real. Uh, I'm not uh, joking. It's uh, something that uh, it's used, uh, is uh, deployed now uh, all over the, the world. Started from Italy, Spain, uh, Poland, Germany, and, and so on. So, 
was the point is that we really think that solution probably to be awesome. It was great. The customer loved it, everybody loved it. We, we are still working on it, and uh, it gave, it gave a, a lot of flexibility. So we also enjoy the hybrids. Uh, I think that uh, at the moment uh, the, the best solution uh, to integrate uh, e commerce with Magnolia could be this product. It's not open source, it's not free, so it's, uh, it's useful for a certain uh, level of, uh, of client, uh, but it's uh, very great. And it plays so well with uh, Magnolia. Magnolia uh, is great uh, because uh, you can really integrate it deeply. We, we saw a lot of integration of uh, modules uh, to integrate it. Uh, and uh, Iris is a product that uh, lets you do this with Magnolia in a very, very nice way. It, it works. OK, just a little demo. I don't want to show the project for uh, Pirelli. I'll just show you uh, a small website for I with Iris. Uh, the nice thing is that uh, there, I, there is uh, not so much to see. <laughs> uh, the thing is that uh, you are used with uh, Magnolia, so what uh, we can do here is just uh, managing a website with Magnolia. That website is uh, Iris. It's managed also by, by, uh, by Iris. Uh, for uh, Iris uh, users, that uh, look uh, crazy, because they usually can do that. For Magnolia, maybe it's uh, something pretty normal. Uh, the website is based on Ibris uh, accelerators. Ibris uh, uh, gives you also some uh, templates, something like uh, the SDK demo website. Uh, uh, it gives you three or four uh, full stores, full implemented with a catalog you can use uh, to build uh, your own website. We try to integrate uh, one of them. And, uh, well, uh, the nice thing is that uh, it, with uh, uh, a, a small work, uh, you can just uh, making uh, the existing uh, code, the existing uh, website uh, editable using Magnolia. We didn't rewrite the average part uh, to make this work. That's something uh, important. Okay. I'll try to change okay. okay. Yep. This is uh, the electronic store template you get with uh, Iris. This is Iris, a website totally based on Iris. This is also Magnolia. If I log in, okay. That website has not been implemented in uh, Magnolia from scratch. We just took the uh, Iris accelerator adding our integration layer, adding our modules, so you can just manage it. Well, just to see that uh, you can do something, not to, I don't want to display what Magnolia can do, you, you already know, so I'm just trying to, to add a, a, a new logo to, to see that it works. Nothing strange, you can edit uh, some parts which are pure Magnolia paragraphs, nothing strange for, for you. Maybe, Whoa. let's do this one. That's it. These paragraphs are hybrid paragraphs. Well, uh, here are we took a component which has been built with uh, hybrids uh, and just make it uh, Magnolia paragraphs. Uh, so you can just, uh, this is a, a, a sample, so we, I, I can do some different things. Uh, I can just select a different category, 
in libraries, okay, tripods, maybe also camera lenses, save, okay, and this is how my window shows uh, the, the products, or uh, here we can filter with uh, free text, uh, let's say, product. Or we can add, okay, we, we did this with where you can uh, copy and paste Excel file with uh, product IDs if you, if you want. You can even imagine, manage the website structure. That's something that you can do usually with, uh, with Firebase, not in a, in a easy way at least. So, well, uh, I don't have to tell you how you can add uh, pages or, or so on. You, <laughs> you already know. Some of uh, these are, uh, well, this one, are hybrids, managed component. This is uh, something that came with uh, the store template with uh, hybrids and uh, can be managed with Magnolia. And, uh, well, for products, uh, you still use the hybrids uh, product cockpit. We just integrated it in the Magnolia interface just for easy to, to use. It's a great uh, tool for managing content. We, we didn't move any of these tools, Ibis tool, into Magnolia because it makes no sense. This Ibis is great in managing uh, this, uh, this catalog, uh, managing promotion and so on. You just have them uh, integrated, totally integrated. You can uh, edit uh, components, uh, uh, your catalog from, uh, from here, you can add a promotion, everything will be reflected in your website. You can just build it and uh, the product is uh, both Magnolia and Ibis. It's the best of both. It's Ibis, easy to use, uh, is Magnolia with uh, product management. It's something that uh, the, the client uh, really loved it. So they are using and uh, they, uh, they enjoyed very much this, uh, this integration. Well, that's uh, pretty much what I wanted to, to tell. I said I don't want to go uh, deeper with uh, technical details. Uh, if uh, you want to know more, uh, we, we are available. We just wanted to share uh, what we did and uh, why we think that it's uh, uh, a good solution. That's, uh, that's something we really think is uh, really interesting for, for Magnolia, for probably many of the, the customers which are using the CMS and also have uh, the, a need for e-commerce uh, tools. Uh, do you see yourself integrating with a cloud-hosted uh, e-commerce solution, like I think uh Hybris also has a uh, on-demand uh, service. Uh, well, or? we didn't do didn't did uh, like something like that. We we really uh, like uh, the to also start uh, think about integrating uh, also Magnolia with cloud services for this experience. Uh, uh, Ibris, the Ibris version was uh, 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 a lot customized. There was uh, a lot of uh, development also on the Ibris size. Uh, it was not something that could be run on the cloud. Uh, everything is connected to the uh, client uh, uh, system, so we have tons of uh, internal integration, and uh, probably cloud was not a, a great solution for that. We, we didn't try that, but something we would really like to. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>